Shackleton gets bit by a rattlesnake. And we are going to be talking today about Shackleton. Shackleton is our little kitty that we rescued that was an orphan. And he's very sweet. He loves to be near us and he loves to get petted and he just purrs like crazy. Well, one morning I was in the garden watering and I, it was early and I looked over and I saw Shackleton sitting in one of the garden beds. He was looking dazed and I walked over to him and noticed that his paw was very swollen. I took him in, in the house and after we examined him, Byron said that it didn't look like his, his leg was broken or anything. So, um, examining it further, we noticed that there was a puncture wound in his paw. And it dawned on us he probably had gotten bit by a rattlesnake. We took him to the vet, and the vet um, didn't suggest giving him antivenom, which is very expensive, but he gave him a shot of antibiotics and some steroids. And then he just kind of was looking at him and all of a sudden ran to the room, came back with a tube of activated charcoal. And he, um, it was um, in a liquid form and he squirted it onto the, onto the leg and wrapped it up with plastic wrap and vet wrap. And I thought, wow, okay, charcoal will work on my kitty. I wasn't sure because I'd never done it on a, a leg with fur before. So we went home and we gave charcoal to Shackleton. We gave it to him by mouth too. I just got a little syringe and without the needle of course, squirted the liquid, the charcoal that was mixed with water into his mouth and then we changed his bandages a couple times that day. We put fresh um, poultices on them and he, he, he wasn't very happy that day. He, he didn't feel very good. He um, had the reactions to the rattlesnake bite. He vomited several times and slept a lot, but by the next day he was noticeably better and we were so excited. Um, charcoal worked and of course the, the, um, the Lord gave us these simple remedies that we can use. So we're very happy that Shackleton survived his rattlesnake bite. To make the poultice, we just mixed like two tablespoons of activated charcoal powder in a paper bowl with, and then slowly added water to it, stirring it, and also we added some ground up flaxseed, which helps to keep it moist for longer, and it also helps with the drawing power of the charcoal. Then we put it, smooth it onto a paper towel, and there's your poultice. You you wrap it around the the in this case his paw and his his leg, and wrapped it with saran wrap after that, and then with some vet wrap, put it all together tightly so he can't pull couldn't pull it off, and that was it. You can do that too.